Here we go into one resembling a birth canal, very symbolic for our rebirth, coming out of the womb. So we did it. <laughs> Made it out of the lake. They let us out of Guatemala. It was a long process getting our fee paid. We're only five days over on our visa limit there, which is three months. So thankfully, actually, our flight was delayed, so we uh, had a little more time. And the flight was practically empty. It was almost like a private plane. <laughs> Landed here just fine. It's been beautiful. It's been warm. <laughs> the city is absolutely stunning. So much color. And there's more than three streets to walk. <laughs> Yay! Uh, part of being in San Marcos, such a small town. Is, um, after years of living there, I was getting quite bored, I will say, of the same three streets. So now it's endless streets <laughs> to explore. We feel so blessed. We've been in such a flow. We're meeting friends already. It's beautiful how everything's falling into place. Just the right time. And we look forward to getting started with our ministry here. Jesus Kirtan Ministry. Hold up. Rewind. You may be asking, where were you before? What was your home address? Well, for the past four years, we were living on the shores of majestic Lake Atatlan in the highlands of Guatemala, in a small village named San Marcos La Laguna. San Marcos is known as a spiritual Mecca. Many seekers come from all over the world to experience myriad practices and traditions including yoga, sound healing, massage, ecstatic dance, medicinal plant ceremonies, as well as Mayan fire and cacao ceremonies. And for 20 full months, we were blessed to be the founders and stewards of the Sound Temple San Marcos, a unique geodesic dome dedicated to the discovery and exploration of the Nod, sacred sound current, frequency, and vibration. Inside the sound temple, we held regular sound baths, kirtan, tantra play shops, private sound healings with massage, essential oils, as well as our signature sound facilitator trainings. Okay, I'm going to show you the inside of the temple now. Excuse the announcements going on. It's just a fact of life of living here. We're all set up and ready for our Tantra play shop today. Private. And then later our sound bath, our public sound bath. Here are all the instruments ready to go. that occurred in this space was often supernatural. As you can hear, the acoustics within the dome were amazing, and we were blessed to receive special visitors from virtually every continent. And often surprised at how some found their way into our sacred temple. So if it was truly so amazing and unique of an experience, then why would we ever leave such a paradise? And why give up the blessing of a dedicated sound temple space? And where are we now? 
Christ revealed to us when it was time to leave San Marcos. And shortly thereafter, Kristen received specific guidance that we should go to Oaxaca. As Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Matthew 16, 24. And here we are in the magnificent cathedral known as Santo Domingo in the heart of Oaxaca City. One cannot help but feel awe and inspiration inside these hallowed walls. And the light that comes through the stained glass is equally exquisite. Coming to Oaxaca, we were astonished with the culture, the vibrancy, colors everywhere, dance, celebration, what a breath of fresh air. In fact, every day feels like a celebration in Oaxaca. Here we are on the Andador. Maybe you want to look both ways. It's uh, one of the numerous pedestrian streets in downtown Oaxaca. Again, for me, it's, it's almost necessity. For me, a, a mature city, an intelligent city, has to have beautiful walking streets, don't you think? Mm -hmm. And this one is full of really very interesting galleries and, and boutiques, not your typical uh, tourist shops. You know. There are many art galleries. Here we go into one resembling a birth canal, very symbolic for our rebirth as we are experiencing coming out of the womb of the Sound Temple in San Marcos and back into the world. Artisanal atole, which is 
based on the traditional warm drink from cornmeal, often combined with cacao and other spices. Here we have many different choices to make it all delicious. And did we mention the food? Oaxaca wouldn't be complete without sampling some of the street food. Here we have wonderful ladies preparing for us delicious quesadillas. As you can see, the nightlife is vibrant in Oaxaca City. If you haven't checked it out already, we have a fundraiser going for the Jesus Kirtan Ministry. As this is a brand new endeavor for us and uh, it's going to take some work to get up and running. Um, you know, we got to start a new website, we're, this is starting from scratch in many ways. Uh, I'll be starting a new program and uh, doing baptism retreats. Yeah, and who knows what else? We're just uh, waiting directions from God directly in Jesus' name. And we'll be led exactly where we need to be, exactly the right time to do exactly what we need to do. <laughs> we have faith, strong faith. And I'm so grateful to be here in this beautiful town of Oaxaca.